Adam said that there is a sucker born every minute. That is a gross understatement. There is a sucker born every second. He's going to predict the internet, essential oils, and my personal favorite, pet insurance. You, sir, do you have a dog? Yeah. Do you love your dog? Of course. Your dog could die at any second. But if you sign up for some pet insurance, you'll be protected. I mean, you want to be protected, right? Have that all-encompassing sense of security so you can sleep at night? I mean, imagine the torment as you toss and turn thinking about your poor dog. You could be hit by a car, struck by lightning, or smashed with a giant fly swatter. I don't know, but the world is a dangerous place. Where do I sign? Right here. What does that do? You there, you look old and sickly. Yeah. What's wrong with you? Over shit. I've got arthritis, bunions, and, and cataracts, and a rash on my That is enough for me to work with. This vial of essential oils is proven to help with arthritis. How mad? How does it help? Exactly. It helps. Essential oils are a supplement and not a medication, and therefore have not been tested or approved by the FDA. Enjoy. Step right up and don't be shy I've got something you've gotta try Step right up and look alive You can trust I'm an honest guy I got a gimmick that can mimic any notion, any potion A concoction up for action, nullifying any toxin Assurance of insurance for any bad occurrence I'm a buyer, a supplier of every fine desire. I'll sell you dreams. It turns to vapor. I'll sell a bill of goods and you'll thank me too. I'll sell you. on a new disguise, dematerialize, and when you get wise, this car will be Oh.
No, I can spare a lot of change. Here you are. Have a nice hot meal or three. Bless you. That, my friends, is a sucker. <laughs> Young lady, is your first time in the city? However did you know? Lucky guess. My name is George Parker. Daisy. Did you just move here, or are you just visiting? I moved into my apartment just this morning. Wonderful. Then, I mean, I won't presume anything. A young, intelligent woman like yourself has already researched and acquired it, but, uh, do you have your pedestrian insurance? My pedestrian insurance? Yes, pedestrian insurance. Everyone in this city has pedestrian insurance. You have to get it before you move here. Don't tell me you don't have any. Oh, well, I didn't know. Where can I go to get some? I'm sorry to tell you this, but it's something you have to get before you move here. At this point, nobody can help you. Well, I guess I'll just have to do without it then. Do without it? No, I mean, the city does without it. I mean, most insurance exists because something could happen. But pedestrian insurance, it exists because something will happen. It's not a guess, it's a, a guarantee. Without it, you might as well move on home. And there's nothing that can be done? Well... Yes? I, I, I am so sorry. I, I shouldn't have said anything. Have a good day. Wait! What were you going to say? Something can be done, can't it? Well... I could sell you some pedestrian insurance, but it'd be an awfully big risk of me. Well, I wouldn't want to put you in a bad position. That's very kind of you. You know what? I'll take the chance. Really? You seem like a responsible young woman. Somebody worth taking a risk for. Just sign here. Thank you ever so much, Mr. Parker. Please. Call me George. I mean, really, I just don't know what I would have done if you hadn't come along. Excuse me? Are you George Parker? Uh, yes, I am indeed, but uh, I'm a bit preoccupied at the moment. Perhaps we can make an appointment. Oh, 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 uh, let's not do anything, and you will regret. Oh, my heavens! Good thing I have insurance now. <laughs> Nobody panic. I'm a doctor. Bit premature there, Doc. Kind of hope I don't need your services today. You ruined my life! And I am so, so very sorry. But also, you might need to be just a little more specific. You don't even remember me, do you? I'm trying really hard to... I, I mean, if it's money you want... Not today. Son of a... Not to be rude, but don't you have a heart to have one of those? I'm, I'm kidding. Who's that? Uh, Mom, this is Daisy. Daisy, this is my mother. Pleased to meet you. I was with George when it happened. Oh, it was just awful. Well, we're all glad that George is safe. George Parker. That would make me Mrs. Parker, which is my name, and always has been. <laughs> Mrs. Parker is my name, and I am the mother of George Parker. <laughs> what a strange way to say so. Mr. Parker, how are you doing? You tell me, Doc. Well, this is your head. Looks empty. <laughs> which I could have told you without an x-ray. You know, I really miss our banner, Mom. Shouldn't wait till the next time we get shot in the head to get it together. You're the one who doesn't hey. call. 
I wait and wait by the phone. Wait by the phone? You're too busy like, is this like 1996 or something? Like My time is limited. Please, doctor, go on. Thank you. Now, as I was saying, this is your head. And this is the bullet that's lodged in your brain. You, Mr. Parker, should be dead. But... <laughs> I'm not. Correct. And I wish that I could say that it was because of my surgical prowess. However, I can't quite explain it. All that I can say is that you must be on very good terms with the man upstairs. Is she talking about her supervisor or the president? <laughs> no, she's talking about God, Mom. Like, how long do I have to wear it? Careful! If you remove that bandage, you could aggravate the wound. And if you do that, your brain could just go, SPLAT! 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 Right. How did you do that? Is that the technical term for it? I should be dead. It's a miracle, then. I don't put much stock in the supernatural. However, I can't fight it with later. I suppose I must agree with your assessment. It is a miracle. A miracle? Honey, there ain't no such thing. A miracle is magic By which I mean Just villains in disguise 
Something now is different What that is I can't explain Maybe it's a miracle Or this bullet in my brain hey, Either way, I'm not in a grave Second chances don't come every day Hey, you'll think me to shame But it's a bright blue sunshiny day I'll be making up on my crooked past And try to build something, something that lasts Or this bullet in my brain I once was as crooked as a crook can be Swindling and pilfering and so angry The day I almost reaped my just reward It wasn't the reward I was hoping for hey, Either way, I'm not in a grave Every single person I've swindled. What would you do a full thing like that for? I'm gonna find them and give back what I took. Oh, mercy. So, you're both con artists. Correct. But, you're going to turn your life around and help the people you once hurt? That's the idea. <laughs> that sounds like a miracle to me. Oh. You stole from me, didn't you? I did. And I would say I'm sorry, but I don't know if it'd be worth anything. It always means something. Well, then I'm, I'm sorry, Daisy. I, I promise I'm going to get your money back. When? That's the tricky part. Excuse me. Are you George Parker? Do you have a handgun or another weapon on your person? No. Well then, yes indeed, I am George Parker. Thank goodness. You have to help me. My name's Christine Hudson. That sounds right up your new alley, George. My son, the altruist, going around helping people, giving back the money he stole. Where did I go wrong? <coughs> Do you know Octavia House? Sweetie, you do not want to tangle with House. I know that now. I thought she was a nice lady. She promised she could help me with an experimental surgery for my legs, but then... <laughs> this situation is making me uncomfortable. <laughs> could you cry somewhere else? <laughs> hey, it's all right. Take your time. That woman stole my life savings. I'm really sorry to hear that, but what am I supposed to do about it? I don't know. I was praying and I heard your name in my head as clear as a whistle. I was by the front desk, wondering if anyone had heard of House's supposed doctors. Of course no one had. Then I heard some nurses talking about your chart. George Parker, room 202B. And I heard a voice that said, go there. It was like a miracle. That's two miracles. Well, that's two too many miracles for me. Han, glad you're not dead. Call me sometime, oh, you wish you were. And as for you two, 
good luck with whatever this is that's going on. Mom, wait. I need your help. Doing what exactly? Something extraordinary just happened to me. And I'm going to see it through. I'm going to get these people their money back. From a house? That's a good way to end up at the bottom of a river. Who is this house lady exactly? Only the meanest, baddest piece of Louisiana jerky you ever did meet. She runs a casino on Fifth and Elm. And runs games on easy marks like Mrs. Hudson. Uh, no offense. None taken. I work for house, or I mean, I, I worked for house. Got a bit too deep with her, and now all my scores go straight to her bank account. She has your money too, Daisy. But I, I'm going to get it all back. How? By conning her. Isn't that the thing you just said you weren't going to do anymore? This is different. It, it's for a good cause. So you have a plan? A plan? is something we're going to need, isn't it? You fill me with confidence, my son. Mrs. Finley? Oh, no! She's in room 205. This is room 202. Although they did announce just a minute ago that she was being moved to room 309, so you should probably just head there. Unless, of course, you meant Mrs. Finney, in which case she's in room 218. Uh, Daisy, mm -hmm. could you look at these for a second? Uh, okay. Now, how many face cards are left in the deck? Uh, 13. You're missing two jacks and an ace. If you want to know the other cards you're missing, it's a two, a six, a nine, and two tens. The kid can count cards. <laughs> well, anyone can count them. There's always going to be 52, unless the jokers are in the deck. This is just the edge we need. I, I know how to swindle a house. Mom, Hudson, I'm gonna need your help. But Daisy, you're gonna be the key. Oh, that's a, a lot of pressure. What's my cut? Knowing you did the right thing? <laughs> no, seriously. 10%. 30? 20. Done. All right, friends, let's go out the most dangerous <coughs> woman in America. Just pray we don't get caught. big on the wheel. Don't worry too much about that, Bruno. His luck won't last forever. But what if he's cheating? Like counting cards. At the roulette wheel? Are you an idiot? No, I just mean it would be like counting cards. Not exactly, but similar. Sometimes two things aren't exactly the same, but they're two things that are semi- uh, same -like. Bruno, no one can cheat at roulette. And besides, you're forgetting one very important thing. What's that? I'm ruined! Ruined! <laughs> the house always wins. <laughs> little Ma, Little Ma, gather to my flame. Little sheep, precious sheep, all
Well, well, well. Look what the cat dragged in. What? I don't see a cat. But I will find it. No, Bruno. It was an expression. Oh. Could we get a cat for the casino, though? It could be like our mascot. It would make things real good around here. Just go stand in the corner and don't come back until I call you. What happened to you? This? Just a scratch? Heck of a scratch. You got my money? Been a little busy. <laughs> well, if you think that mummy wrap on your head is going to buy you sympathy, you're sorely disappointed. Don't worry. They get hit hard enough to expect any sympathy from you. Glad to hear it. My money! I don't have it. Bruno! <coughs> yeah, boss? Break his arm. Okay. Wait, wait. Okay. What I mean to say is I don't have it yet, but I have something better. A cat? What? It could be like a mascot. <laughs> no, Bruno, a, a mark. Go on. I have this insanely rich, absurdly bubbly, and deliciously naive girl. And here's the best part. She trusts me. <laughs> How'd you manage that? She thinks she's reforming me. Ah, the old... I was a crook, but I want to turn things around, Con. Yeah, people like this girl can't pass the chance to reform a bad boy. What's the angle? That's where you'll come in. You see, I need your help to pull the job. I have other people take my gambles. I myself am risk averse. Come on. Pull this off and we'll both be rich. What about me? I kind of forgot about you. <laughs> oh. No promises, but I'll hear your plan. But if this doesn't pan out, you'll get a mess of bandages to go with the one on your head. Now talk. sure is lively. The spray paint on these decrepit walls really makes them pop. <coughs> We've already seen two muggings, and that guy over there is giving tattoos inside a cardboard box with what looks like an old knitting needle. Wow, it's all so exciting. George has been in there for a long time. Do you think he's OK? <coughs> sure he knows what he's doing. After all, he's been robbing people for years. Miss me? What a lovely purse! Is it new? It sure is. Courtesy of... Miss Amber Sullivan. <laughs> Mrs. Parker? Did you steal that? Yeah, that's literally what I do. You have to return it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. You're being serious. You really see the world through those rosy-colored glasses, don't you? Maybe I do. But you're a... a... a big meanie! <gasps> <laughs> That's right. I said it. And I'm not one bit sorry. You're a... a cynical meanie! The air is positively crackling with conflict. <laughs> Listen, hon. I'm sorry if my thieving and lying and jocular bullying upsets you, but that's the world we live in. You think you can just wait in line all patient and goody two shoey? That's not a word. The only way you get ahead is by pushing somebody else down. <coughs> if that makes me a cynic, it's a badge I'm proud to wear. You and your son are cut from the same cloth. I'd rather be positive. Don't sing. Please don't. I don't think you can stop her.
positivity. Awesome, I'm into that. It's like I don't even know you anymore. <laughs> oh, Mom, I've changed because everywhere I went, I saw an angle. Everyone I met was just a mark. But thanks to some blessed guardian angel, life is seeming a little less dark. Positivity is positively free. Positivity can change your life. Positivity, it can give you wings. Positivity can help you fly. Look at me tonight, you will see positivity. We're all about to die. <laughs> Come on, Ma. I'm one step ahead. Your mother has a unique <coughs> perspective on life. At least it makes her happy. You think she's happy? She isn't? I don't understand. That's because you haven't felt the sort of pain that breaks a person. Not yet. Parker wins you over with a wink and a smile, but it's a mask. She wears it well, I'll give her that. Those of us who share the pain know what it's like. Certainly do. Anyway, I've gone on too long. Excuse me. You know, if there's something I could do for my mother, it'd help her lose that mask of hers. And then she could heal. Even find herself in a happier life, maybe. Take a calamity to change that woman, though. Or a miracle. It's good of you to worry about her, George. I wish I could be worry-free, like you. Oh, no. Just because I'm positive doesn't mean I'm worry-free. You have worries? So many worries, George. Like, what if I can't do this? I'm not a very good liar. I'm not a very good anything, really. I'm just some sucker who got swindled by you, and now I might get swindled again. I mean, this house lady... Stop! You're spiraling. Come on, sit down. Listen, I... I don't really know you all that well, but what I know is this. A man you didn't know got shot in the head in the street. Instead of running away like 90% of people, stuck around. Make sure you got help. I think I remember this. What was that stranger's name again? It was me. Oh, right. Not to mention, when he found out who I was in the hospital, instead of running away, he stuck around. He decided to help me make things right. You're a good person, Daisy. Not this. Uh, George! Yeah? I think that you're pretty... You think I'm pretty? No! Not that. I think that you're pretty, uh, congenial. Like, friendly? No. Well, yeah, but more like you're, uh, sensational. Like a, like a bad eye? No. Look, before we go in there, I just want you to know that I think you are such a... A stout fellow. <laughs> I appreciate the adjectives, but I'm going to go inside and get things started. See you in there. Congenial? Sensational? Stout fellow? Oh, I sound like Anne of Green Gables. <laughs> I've never had trouble saying what I mean before, so why am I having so much trouble saying it to him?
mighty calm, Hudson. Any chance you've pulled a con before? I've gone from walking to sitting in this chair, and from being married to being a widow. There's not much left in life that can shock me. I'm sorry about your husband being dead. <laughs> Do you mean I'm sorry for your loss? <sighs> That's the one. I lost my partner too. Not in the same way as you, but... What are you doing? I'm consoling you. I'm being nice. Oh, oh. Thank you. Right. Looks like they're ready. Let's get in position. So, I have four of these princesses. Does that mean I win? Oh. I guess it does. I didn't think I'd be any good at this. Lenny, you have the best poker face I ever did see. Really? Because I thought she was kind of obvious. Ow! Uh, deal with another hand, Bruno. Uh, how else can we talk? So, figured out who tells you? The only person that lies worse than her is Pinocchio. Even then it's a toss-up. When she has a bad hand, she chews her lower lip. Hmm. Well... Next time she does that, I'll get her to go big. How are you going to do that? Only a fool would go big on a bad hand. Well, it's a confidence game for two reasons. I have her confidence, and I have mine. She'll go for it, but not to put enough down to make her bite. And if this doesn't work? You'll rearrange my limbs or whatever. <laughs> you know you really need to work on your threats? Come on. Oh, you're back. Bruno was just telling me the most wonderful story. It was about a pusillanimous mouse who has to learn the value of courage. Deal, and Bruno. Okay. She won fair as a square. I think it's fair and square. Fair and square. I've got to write that down. <laughs> I'll get the cash from the vault. Gee, boss is mad as a hatter. Do you mean mad as a hornet? Uh, gee, you got it wrong again. That's all right. We all misspeak from time to time. But I mess up speaking all the times. I try to talk good, but I just can't seem to get it to come out. But Good. Maybe if I try singing, that would be good, huh? Yeah. Now this might be a little rough, <clears throat> but I'll try my best. When I'm alone, the words come so free.
they leave completely in my mind I'm an eloquent guy but in the world I might as well be a mother comes in. While the uh, house went to get your winnings from the vault, uh, she took in something she wasn't expecting. Or should I say, uh, someone? Your mother snuck into the vault? Yeah, she's spry and stealthy. Like an eight-year-old ninja. <laughs> so your mom is in the vault right now? At this point, she's probably... Right behind you. <laughs> And a good deal younger than 80, thank you very much. Here's your money, son. And the rest of it? Whatever do you mean? Oh, I forgot, I put some in 
here for safekeeping. Huh. Mom, the rest of it. I suppose there might be a few bills floating around my pocket somewhere. When you get to be 80, it's hard to remember all the places you've put your stolen money. <laughs> So, what now? Now we head to the warehouse office of the noble in <coughs> Hudson. Don't want her seen leaving with us. Could have raised the wrong kind of questions. You're really just going to give her back her money, aren't you? Didn't I raise you better than that? Well, why do you keep doing that? George is doing a good thing. You should be proud of him. Instead, you just keep tearing him down. If it's good for me, it's good. Otherwise, it's just a waste of time. But we sing that whole song about positivity. <laughs> Honey, it's going to take more than a chorus or two to change my ways. George, I'll see you back at the warehouse. By then, I hope you'll have come to your senses. I don't understand her. She, she's had a rough life. We both have. Father was a hard man to live with. The promise he made to me and my mom, he broke. I guess I kind of learned the art of the con from him. As a kid, you're kind of the easiest mark. George. I, I, dwelling on the past is only a waste of time. Let's get to the warehouse. Your mom's wrong, you know. You shouldn't listen to her. I mean, she is your mother, so listen to her some, but not about this. You're doing a good thing, George. You're a good guy. Don't, don't, don't say that. <laughs> but it's true. You're good. Daisy! <coughs> you don't know what I have done. Let me tell you something about this good man you see before you. I once conned an elderly man out of his entire life savings. The job was a beautiful piece of work. It took me three months to pull it off. Made this fake shell company called the Brooklyn Bridge Consortium. Had to staff it and everything, but the score? The score was worth it. That man saved for decades, and you stole it all. That's not the part that makes me a villain, though. See, that man had a problem. A, a heart problem. I didn't know about it at the time. That's no excuse. Once he heard his entire life savings, his entire fortune disappear. Drop dead from shock. See, that's the type of thing I'm capable of, the type of man I am. So tell me, Miss Positivity, am I good? What do you want from me, George? Do you want me to recoil in horror? Yes, you did a horrible thing, a lot of horrible things. But you keep talking about your missteps, your mistakes. Isn't it the next step that truly matters? You're going to make up for what you've done. I, I can't. That is just one story out, out of hundreds. That's the type of thing I have to atone for. I I'll never be absolved, never be good enough. If that's true, then why even try? That's all I have. Trying is all I have. But I'll help you. Things will get better. You'll get better. I'm not worth it. Isn't that for me to decide? I try to be more than a Con man be more than a crook, than a thief, more than me. She's staring at me like I'm something to see, like I'm more than I ever, I never believe. This fantasy was in tragic. Can be the man that she wants me to be. 
cobwebs, grim corners, and harsh angles. Do you always have to do that? Do what? Describe your surroundings. <laughs> oh, I didn't even realize I was. Hudson should have been here by now. What's the play? Cut our losses and run? No. We wait. Just a couple more minutes at least. On second thought, let, let's get out of here. That's what back doors are made for. I wouldn't leave quite yet if I were you. Hudson, you're walking. It's a miracle. They're really piling up these days. <laughs> no, there are no miracles. They never work. What do you mean, Hudson? What's going on? Mom tried to warn me. I didn't listen. Miracle is the greatest con of them all. The light dawns. A bit late, though. The doctor in the street. Same one who treated me. Same one who did my x-rays. What are you going on about? What does the doctor have to do with any of this? Sam, careful. It's fine, Mom. There's nothing there. Not even a scar. And it ain't no miracle. No. It isn't. Been con. That's right. For those of you struggling to catch up, let me set the scene for you. I pay some lowlife to shoot George in the head. They're hesitant at first, but when I tell them they're shooting blanks, it cinches the deal. Blanks can't hurt someone, though. I saw George go down when he got shot. Blanks can hurt, even kill at a close range. When shot from the right distance with the right backing, you can knock someone out stone cold. The trick after that was finding a physician I could bribe to be the first to respond. They had to make up a story about a surgery, show you the x-rays, and keep it all believable enough so that you'd really think you'd been shot. You rat. Why would you do that to him? Tell them, George. Or do you not remember me? Do all your victims look alike to you? Well, I'll give you a hint. Brooklyn Bridge Consortium. That's the job you were telling me about. The one where the man... Oh, Hudson, that was your husband. It was. I loved him and he died because of you. Cry me a river, Hudson. People face trouble every day. If it hadn't been George, it would have been something else. Your husband's ticker was on a timer and always had been. And that is not George's fault. Not his fault! He took everything from me. So now I've taken everything from him. You gave him a scare. But he'll bounce back stronger than ever. We always do. You've accomplished nothing. Come on, George, let's go before the law comes knocking. Stop! I haven't finished. And there's so much more to say. I'm gonna guess that gun isn't loaded with blanks. Pass me the briefcase. Slowly. First, George Parker, I'm going to take your money. Then I'm going to take your life. No. Stop. She's not going to shoot me. She doesn't have it in her. You're right. I'm not a hardened criminal. Not like you. If it were self-defense, maybe I could bring myself to pull the trigger. Thankfully, I don't have to. You have two doors before you, George Parker. Out the front, the police. They received record of your theft from House's Casino from an anonymous source. Oh, and that source may have also implied that you're armed and highly dangerous. In that list of people you wronged that you were so kind to make, they received a note telling them exactly where you're going to be. I'm not sure how many allegations you can dodge, but I'm willing to bet you can't weasel your way out of every one of them. No prison can hold my son. Door number two. House and her entourage are waiting out back. They did not look happy when I saw them. And they're packing more heat than an NRA convention. So either way, your life is over. I'll let you choose the door. A quick exit with house, or slowly rotting in jail for the rest of your life. You thought you were one step ahead. I outsmarted a bullet in the head. Your luck's wrong.
Hudson, please. How do we know House is even out there? You could be bluffing. Mr. Parker, Miss Daisy, whoa. What do you want, Cretan? To knock it shot? Other than that. <laughs> Mr. Parker, listen. House is out there and she is mad as a bee. Look. Mad as a hornet. Thanks. Look, breaking arms is one thing, but I didn't sign up for no murder. I'm begging you, don't go out there. Trust but verify. Thank you, Bruno. I hope that settles your doubts on that matter, Mrs. Parker. I'll take that as a yes. time in my entire life that I felt something real. But I thought I got a miracle. For years I thought I was I was too broken to fix. Looked in the mirror and all I saw was trash. Oh George, honey. I have donned a thousand masks to hide my pain. All I did was put that pain on the others. Like you. As cute as this is, I was hoping for more begging. Tell you what, I'll make it easy. One last sentence to the person that ended your life. What will it be? One day, I was an honest man. Thank you. I'm wise to you, Parker. You don't mean any of that. You're just trying to guilt me into letting you go. It won't work. Your fate is sealed. All that's left is for you to decide which way you fall. Listen, I'll hold house back as long as I can. Just promise me that you'll go out the front. Jail is better than a bullet. George Parker, this is the police. Come out with your hands up. All right, I see two plays. The Peruvian Gambit could work. I'll take a lot of pastries, Daisy, and start checking crates. The Cape Cod Shuffle could work too. It's a long shot, but sometimes those are the only shots you can take. Or maybe... Stop! I'll... There's no, there's no game to run. There's no card left to play. We lost. I didn't raise you to be a quitter, boy. You barely raised me at all. Sam. I'm sorry. I... Sorry, Mom. I love you. 
I know we weren't perfect, but we had each other, right? That's something. So, I guess we go out the front door then. You two go out the front. I got business for house. I'm not letting you go out there. I have to face her at some point. Not now, then eventually. Whether I'm in jail or halfway around the world, that she'll follow me. It's better to face her now, instead of spending the rest of my life looking over my shoulder. But she'll kill you! I wasn't built for a cage. Not. Once I leave, make sure you get the package out of that barrel. The what? Seven. Take this. It's a list of all the people I swindled. Try to give as much of the money as you can away. I, I know it's not enough. Not nearly, but, but it's a start. Three. And Daisy? Yes? Two. You made me better. One. We're coming in. <sighs> Things about to get lively in here. A dingy cardboard box, just what I always wanted. What's inside? The money we stole from house. All of it. That means Hudson has nothing. It was a bait and switch. My boy is always one step ahead. If he knew that Hudson was conning us, that must mean he has a plan for dealing with house too. He's going to be fine. Come on, let's go. program at some school. I'll be specializing in anthropological linguistics and semiotics. What school is this? Uh, hobbies, I think. Harvard? Yeah, that's... <laughs> that is a miracle. Well, I better get going. I'm really sorry, Mrs. Plucker. Truly, I am. Wonders never cease. What's next for you, Mrs. Parker? I don't know. Try going straight, I guess. George would have liked that, I think. If you need any help. Oh, I will need mountains of help. Straightening out someone as crooked as me is bound to take years. I'm not sure I'm worth the trouble. I'm sure. Did you just steal my watch? I'm sorry, it's a hard habit to break. If I believed, I'd ask for one right now. Believed in what? I don't believe in magic, and I don't believe in miracles. I thought my husband was a hero. He was a villain in disguise. But now Broken and undone. 
try to con me, girl? If so, at least it's a kind lie. Goodbye, George Parker. Is that his real name? a lot of props if we did not have Sam to move them off stage and she puts a lot of work into that for us and so we're very thankful for that so we got some flowers for you uh, I'm not going in the line order uh, Noah helps us with all our sound and you would not be able to hear us if we didn't have Noah and so we have some flowers for him as well a long time learning all that piano and did a phenomenal job but not only was she here for all our practices on stage with lights and all that she was also here with us while we were learning the music and playing for us so that we could sound decent so <laughs> thank you Bethany uh, Michelle we have uh, some flowers and a parts for her she does all our dancing. We would look really stupid to this music if we did not have Michelle. Um, all well pregnant because she is a queen. And That's we it. love her. <laughs> Michelle is not just 
just a great choreographer, but she is an amazing friend. And we all feel very loved by her. We all laugh, and we just wanted to say thank you, and we love you. We love you. <laughs> so, Alex uh, directed the Greek play earlier, and I have a really special opportunity to thank Alex, because for those of you who don't know, Alex is my fiance. <laughs> Um, but I had the special opportunity to see him work on these plays all summer between reading many, 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 many acts to decide which one he wanted and was perfect for him, but also to blocking the whole show before we even stepped on campus because he wanted to be that prepared. And so he has done a phenomenal job leading us in this play and redirecting a lot of silliness. Uh, you saw how funny that show was. Can you imagine trying to wrangle us in that many times? Yeah. So, uh, thank you. And, uh, Zach, we also have cards and flowers for you as well. Uh, first off, Zach wrote that whole musical, so... stuff of organizing all the tickets and the props and all the stuff that we really don't want to do. Uh, Zach also directed the musical and he has been an amazing director but more than that he has been an amazing supporter for all of us. I always laugh at uh, Zach having his own therapy couch in his office <laughs> because if you come into the library and go to his office you always see somebody in there talking about something because if you're struggling with something, Zach's door is always open. And so we love having fun with you and making art with you, and we just want to say thank you. Bravo. Folks, thanks so much for coming out. Uh, it's been a joy to work with this group. I would echo everything that's been said about these, these people. It takes a team to put on these productions, and uh, it, is, it is a privilege to work with these students. They have such kind, giving hearts, and are, are just wonderful. Thank you for supporting them. We'll be meeting you outside of Thorn in a receiving line, and can chat more there. Thank you. Bye.